Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, welcome to my life as I live it. Today is a Monday and I am beginning a new weekly vlog, so drum roll! <laughs> tomorrow is Myra's birthday! Yes guys, tomorrow is Myra's birthday and as almost usual, I'm planning to do something small in school. I am broke. I don't have money as always but i just want to do something small and significant so i want to pack do the packs because i'm going to be too exhausted tomorrow tomorrow because tomorrow i have to get up and cook i have to go and get the cake from review cakes and more and review cakes and more is in sable so before i leave from here go there come back and i have to be in mara school by 11 20. so before i do all those things i'll be tired but anyway let me show you guys what i got so this is chocolate I don't want that noise. So this is chocolate I got. This is how it looks. Yep. Um, I got, I feel like this was a mistake. I got these hot lollipops. Okay. And these magic biscuits and buttercream. Like, I don't know which one I'll go for. That these are the biscuits I went for and then the number four this is a small one like guys I'm not doing anything over the top today tomorrow and yes we have this Premixia Premixia yogurt yep and then I also have a bag of Tam Tam and then guys um, I ordered these bags from Karin Favor they're very like there are so many i don't know if you have a child that is having a birthday and you're looking for unique um bags for their birthdays i'm having this like there are so many there are four in here i'm not sure i'll use up to five so in one packet there i think there are eight i'll give it at even mm, four four hundred <laughs> yes i just want to to give them out because i ordered more than i can keep so yes yeah, so i'll pack them in here if you want to do it don't do that if you're doing a birthday and you don't have a lot to fill in the kids um pack bag this is a perfect bag for you it's not too big so the few things that i put inside will look as if you have done it <laughs> and guys i don't understand my kids class i don't understand my children's classes this year they are really full normally the tour was before the children are not supposed to be more than 25 or between 25 to 35 in the class but this year guys myra's class there are 37 of them when I last asked the madam told me no they're just 32 and then today when I went to confirm that I was coming for the birthday madam now told me that they are moved from 32 to 37 so I'm planning for approximately 40 40 to 45 packs including the teachers and all that so yes guys let's go ahead and pack this so that I can sleep I'm so tired like I've been on my feet all day I'm so, so oh tired. my god this lighting is so good guys see that I'm shining my god is this a lovely girl or what this is great lighting I'm done. I'm exhausted. Cheers. <laughs> now I can sleep. I know that the main thing I have to do tomorrow is the popcorn, crackers, and go and take the cake. And we are done. I was thinking of doing something special for the teachers, but I'm tired. I don't think I'll have the strength to do that, but. Uh, Wait and see. Let's wait and see. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. 
different planets Watch your aura pass me by Losing balance What if we run out of time and second
um this is just me ending this vlog and you know i like to talk about something while ending the vlog right so guys i just want to talk about something a subscriber of mine was asking okay so she's asking if um family background matters when you're looking for a spouse when you're looking for somebody to marry like i should tell her my opinion and i'm going to tell you guys what i think you guys know how it goes here i tell you what i think and you as well will tell me what you think okay let's help each other let's let her have different points of view because my point of view is not the only point of view of you on earth a lot of people have different things to say about this so like i said the question is does background really matter when it comes to choosing a spouse i would say yes and when i say yes it's not it's not in the sense that everybody who is from this type of background behaves the same kind of way or that same kind of way no but i believe that background where you're coming from highly affects the way you communicate the way you're intimate the way you think where you're coming from plays a big role to that so i feel like your background says a lot about how you would be i know a lot of people who have grown up in abusive homes okay if you look at a lot of people for example these guys that beat women and things like that if you look at their background you see that they grew up in an abusive home it could be the mom that was abusing the father or the father that was abusing the mother like but there was that and they grew up in that environment knowing that oh this is okay if you see a man not being too close to his children for example if you look deep you might notice that oh when this person was growing up his father figure or his father was not was just one man up there that was just passing others down there so i feel like all that plays a whole lot like i said in that video where i was talking about bringing up your kids our parents are responsible for us and that is the way the main the first knowledge we get on this earth is usually from our parents so sometimes our parents are even our role models okay so you'll be following what they do and it definitely is going to tell you who you are going to be or it definitely plays a huge role okay i've spoken to a lot of people and when you talk to them you, you really get like one of those things that you really have to pay attention to when you want to get married is the family your partner is coming from back in the day a lot of our parents will tell you if you want to marry this person more go find out and i remember i used to laugh at my mom so much like mommy what are you people going to find out but growing up now i feel like finding out is something that people don't really do anymore which should be done finding out basically just means oh you want to marry this person go and find out about their background where like find out things about them basically before you decide whether you want to get married to them i feel like that's something that we really have to do that people don't do anymore so yeah in all i'm just trying to say that i feel like background where you're coming from is going to affect and in this case it's not about being rich or poor for me the background is about your history right your history i have noticed that people who grow up without um father figures for example they they really do not understand how to be a dad or a father like guys who grow up without a mother whom like it was the mother who was the father and everything they always find it hard to understand the role of a father you always they always ha it always takes a lot for them to get to understand okay there are some guys who even those that grew up with fathers and they had those fathers who were not mingling with the kids who were not they just have that that thoughts like okay this is what the father does the father just comes and throws money out there the father doesn't play with the kids the father doesn't help help to do anything at home na papa you understand that kind na papa you get and the same as somebody who might have grown up in a, a single home as a girl yeah like a girl who would have grown up in a single home maybe her mom was doing everything and then sometimes when you're with when your mom has gone through a lot of hurt maybe as a single mom she has gone through a lot of hurt sometimes there's little things that she has she might have told her child must have shaped her mind in a certain kind of way towards men like men will always leave you men are not to be trusted men are cheats and just things like that so i strongly feel like where we're coming from really matters i even had somebody who said that she if she knew she would never get married to somebody who was from a single family from a single home right like raised by one parent and i was like why because she was like for me i feel like people who are raised in a single home they don't know they don't understand how a family works and that is in cases where i'll tell you that it depends on the family you're coming you're getting married to sometimes yes you might have found out all that and you see that oh it's a single mom or this and that happened but getting to know them and getting to understand how they really relate to people like how they really relate to family how their family dynamics are is also important so yeah i feel like um background can greatly affect a marriage it's it, like it's something that can greatly affect the marriage so if you want to get married to somebody you want to really understand their background where they are from they are like even sometimes you get married to some people i've seen people who have gotten married to um guys who are 
chop chair or who have to join one village cult or something like that those are the things that you have to find out if you know that you're not okay with oh my man na chop chair he gave a go chop did this thing he has to do this witchcrafting and do that if you know that you're not going to be okay with that then good and fine you don't put yourself in that situation so yeah that is what i think what do you guys think about this do you feel like um background like i said is important when it comes to getting married and being in a relationship and all that do you feel it's important or for you you feel like it's one of those things that don't, doesn't matter it's about the person like i said it's going to affect so even if you're saying it's about the person the person's background where they're coming from is definitely going to play a role in how they behave and all that so yes guys that is it for this video i'm sure you can see from this vlog that i was i didn't really vlog last week i had a lot going on i was exhausted but yeah here we are and i hope that this week is better i hope that i have more strength and i feel more anyway guys thank you so much for watching today's video let me know what you think in the comment section what do you think yes guys so there you have it for today's video let me know what you think we're going to talk more later thank you guys so much bye Mwah.